Yo, thanks for clicking on my video. I bring you great gaming deals from around the globe straight to your beautiful face. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year and you can make that possible. So if you enjoy my content, hit the subscribe button, join the club and warm my ice cold heart. Enough blabber, let's go. No Man's Sky is currently coming in with 50% off making it 28 euros or around 30 bucks and is sitting in with mostly positive reviews on Steam with around 180-ish thousand reviews. I think when the game launched it was more like No Man's Buy, as it was nothing else but a buggy mess of unplayable garbage. But it put the Steam refund system under pressure with the amount of refunds that bad boy was spitting out. But it seems that the developers have pulled their heads out of their asses, cleaned themselves up a bit and sorted their game out. In all fairness, it's a toss up between No Man's Sky and Jesus for the greatest resurrection ever with Jesus narrowly winning because Christianity has more extensive multiplayer and better end game content. So what I'm trying to say is that this game is actually not bad now, it's gone from no man's buy to someone might buy. Next up we have Stick Fight. It's a physics based couch online fighting game where you battle it out as these iconic stick figures from the golden age of the internet. I mean look at this shit, don't tell me it's not making you giggle. When I was younger, these stickman animations were the creme de la creme of animations. It makes me sound like I'm 85 years old, but close enough. So when I saw this game on Steam, I thought, hey, it's sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam with a total of 77,000 reviews and it's 2 euros, so fuck it. In fairness, the game is pretty fun when you play it with friends. The only thing is that you need friends, which requires interaction with real humans, and I don't support that. Spiritfarer is a cozy management game about dying. As a fairy master to the deceased, you build a boat to explore the world, care for your spirit friends and release them into the afterlife. The Spiritfarer's farewell edition includes the heartwarming base game and three major content updates which is nice. Spiritfire is currently 67% off making it 8 euros or around 9 bucks and it's sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam with around 80,000 reviews. I legit cried, like 4 different times, and I have no soul, so imagine the effect it would have on an actual human. Well played Thunder Lotus game, well played. So excuse me while I go punch a tree to get rid of all of this water in my eyes. Play the critically acclaimed masterpiece Ori where you embark on a new journey in a vast exotic world where you'll encounter towering enemies and challenging puzzles on your quest to unravel Ori's destiny. Yeah, this game is amazing, even better than the first one in terms of gameplay and that one was already a masterpiece. It's highly recommended for every fan of metroidvania games and if you're not a fan, this is the game that might change your mind. It's a blast. In fairness, I don't really do platformers, but here I am recommending this bad boy for you. Because I know it's good. It's currently 67% off making it 10 euros or around 11 bucks and is sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam with a total of 80,000 reviews and you know I've said it before when game comes in with these numbers and maintains overwhelmingly positive reviews it is good. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, it's called nostalgia. People affected by this illness tend to pay for remakes of old games in spite of them being technically the same game, but they just look nicer I guess. Two Point Hospital is themey hospital, with better graphics really. If you enjoyed the old one, then just buy this one. If you've never played it before, I think that for the price it's actually a pretty good game. There are several maps to enjoy, you can tip your nurse, and fires seem to happen very often, so in reality, it's just the perfect Romanian hospital simulator. It's coming in with a heavy hitting 75% off, making it 9 euros or around 10 bucks, and it's sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam with a total of 20,000 reviews. If you decide to embark on this endeavor, just a quick tip, you can actually send the patients home right before dying just to keep your reputation up, which, I mean, what's more important, saving a patient or reputation? Reputation, I know. Squad is a tactical first person shooter that provides authentic combat experience through teamwork, constant communication and very realistic gameplay. It bridges the gap between arcade shooter and a military simulation with 100 player battles, combined arms, base building and an integrated voice over IP system where people will shout at you from the beginning to the end. 
Very few games capture the real-world feeling of being led by an 8-year-old into modern conflicts and the slaughter that follow. Imagine you get 50 monkeys together to create and execute a highly complicated military operation against another 50 monkeys. That squad, 10 out of 10, would recommend. I don't have many hours in this game to be fair, and still dealing with the PTSD that I've gotten from being blown to pieces over and over and over again. But if you have this bad boy, add me so we can develop our PTSD together. Squads is currently 33% off, making it 30 euros or around 33 bucks, and it's sitting in with positive reviews on Steam with around 80,000 reviews. By the way, by the time you see this video, I should be lying on a beach off the coast of Africa somewhere, enjoying a drink and sun, and everything is just wonderful. So, cheers to you! Thanks for watching this video. That's all I had for you in this one. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe, like, why haven't you? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Cheers!